Hi, this is Michael Fisher for SavingInvesting.com and to complete the valuation series I just want to touch on a ratio that's used or a percentage that's often referred to when comparing the valuation of stocks and bonds. What we can look at, what we can, one of the things, and the ratio that I'm referring to is the earnings yield. And the earnings yield is effectively the inverse or the reciprocal of the P-E ratio. And what, it, uh, what the earnings yield is, is the earnings divided by the share price expressed as a percentage. And what we can then say, or what often is used in analysis, is, compar is a comparison of the bond yield um, and the earnings yield to see whether stocks or bonds are cheaper at any given point in time. Now, earnings have a lot of drawbacks, as we know. They are affected by accounting um, terms such as depreciation, amortization. They only look at one year. But what the earnings yield aims to do is it aims to express as a percentage the, the earnings um, that the company generates for each dollar that we invest in its share price. So, for example, um, a P-E ratio of 10 would give us an earnings yield of 10% um, because um, I'm using very easy numbers because 1 over 10 times 100% is 10% um, and it would say basically that for each dollar that we invest in that company's share price in the shares we would have that gives earnings of roughly 10% within the company. Now the earnings aren't fully paid out as we know there's a payout ratio and the amount that we receive is referred to as the dividend um, and that the actual cash that we receive in the firm form of the dividends divided by the share price is the dividend yield but given that different companies have different payout ratios in order to capture that year's earnings what we can do is calculate the earnings yield and then say that that company for example is generating for each hundred dollars of share price with an earnings yield of ten percent um, effectively the company is generating ten dollars of earnings um, on based on its market value of equity and what analysts sometimes do is they say that if the bond yields are bonds are yielding six percent and the stock market the S&P 500 in aggregate has an earnings yield of nine percent then perhaps uh, stocks are more attractive than bonds and typically we would expect the earnings yield to be higher than the bond yield because we would need to have some kind of a premium to account for the riskiness of investing in stocks the fact that the earnings uh, may not be realized and that there might be earnings downgrades or the company might have a shortfall the companies in aggregate might have shortfalls in earnings um, but I just wanted to touch on the concept of the earnings yield which effectively is the inverse of the PE ratio in other words it is the earnings divided by the share price expressed as a percentage, uh, in other words, multiplied by 100%. So if we have earnings of 2 and a share price of 10, the earnings yield would be 20%. And again, those are earnings that the com company generates. They're an accounting term, largely, um, and they're not earnings that we as investors realize. What we, what we get is the dividend that's paid out, plus potentially any share price appreciation. But what the earnings yield does do, it gives us a sense for how much earnings is generated with each dollar that's invested in the share price of the company and often is used to compare the cheapness of a stock market, for example, with a bond market by analysts.